What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Tyline Tactics. Today we are actually in Galveston, Texas. We're gonna be doing a video about this fishing expo going on today. Today is Saturday, what's today's date? January 30th, so I'm doing the intro now because it's gonna be probably really loud inside. But let's go ahead and see uh, what they, I heard they're supposed to have some really cool stuff inside. I'm interested in buying some stuff for sure. Corky's, down south lures, whatever you got. So let's go ahead and check it out guys. All right guys, we just got in here. We got Chicken Boy back here. We're gonna take a look around, see what we can find. Which one would you say is the most effective out of all these colors, man? If you had if you had to pick one to throw for the rest of your life, which one would it be? I've been doing this one almost exclusive for the that last one? two years. What, what color Me is person, that? Color X. Color X. Highly recommended. Awesome. My go-to color for the last two years if I'm not throwing top waters. There's yeah, plenty of other great colors here. Purple Rain, uh, Bone Diamond, uh, Chicken of the Sea, which used to be my favorite color until, that, until this came out. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome back. We're here with the brand Prime Gancho. This is gonna be David right here. He's the creator of the brand. Uh, we're gonna give him a second here to just describe the brand a little bit, what it's about, and uh, how he got started. My name is David Teran. I'm the owner of Prime Gancho Apparel, Prime Gancho Charters. We are based out of Houston, Texas. We offer a unique line of apparel inspired by our cultural roots and our inner city influence from Houston. Our signature series is the Loteria. When I was a kid, I used to always play Loteria and I've been fishing since I was a kid. I figured if I hit Buenas con el Pescado that the next day I'd go fishing, I might hit a big one. So many years of fishing and playing Loteria went by and I finally came up with the idea of El Rojo, which is the same orientation of El Pescado. So uh, we did it, we did a small small batch for our following on Instagram. We got a great response and that kind of launched where we are here is uh, Prime Gancho Apparel. Also, uh, I'm a licensed captain here on the upper coast of Texas. We offer inshore fishing from Baytown as far east as Sabine. We also do outdoor photography. So we're all about the lifestyle and uh, we just like to share our experience with everyone with our apparel, our fishing and photography. So if you like our stuff, check us out on Instagram at Prime Gancho. We have our website, primegancho.com. We got a list of all of our information from our apparel, fishing, and photography. So thanks for supporting, checking us out. What's up guys? We're here with Mr. Versace. If you have not heard of this guy for some reason, I'd be very surprised. This dude has put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this brand, and the brand is called Texas Southern Lifestyle. TSL, guys. But like the brand says, it's a lifestyle, not just a brand. We got Versace here. We're gonna give him a second to talk a little bit about his brand, what it's about, and how he got started. Hey, what's up guys? This is Versace from TSL Texas on Lifestyle. You already know we're right here at the Fisher Show in Galveston, Texas, Hitchcock, Texas, if I'm not mistaken. And we are here, this is the second day we've been selling out quick. 
As y'all know, I got the hard hitters right now as the Redfish, Flounder, Trout, Texas Slam. I mean, I built this company in 2017. The first Hispanic is really bring, bringing a lot of H-Town stuff here in Texas, representing real hard. And a lot of people just been supporting us. No matter what, man, you got to stay humble, true, and straight up, man. You get places a little bit better than others. And uh, man, this apparel, I started in 2017 and I've just been building non-stop man a lot of clientele been shipping from uh, all the way from Puerto Vaca, Corpus Christi all the way to the valley even at the Virgin Islands man so it's been crazy I am happy for all the support y'all been giving us I love y'all uh, the support is amazing and like I said man y'all y'all go ahead and check out the website Texan Lifestyle uh dot com and also our instagram and facebook brother appreciate you for stopping by so there you have it guys like i said a lot of respect for this dude he put a lot of work into his brand he has some really fire apparel guys we're gonna go ahead and take a quick shot of here so you guys can see a little bit of everything he has going on We're here with Mr. George Guzman. Most of you guys have probably heard of him already. He's super famous. And we had to pull him away from all these people that are coming up asking about these jackets. We'll give you a shot of all these jackets in just a second because they look super fire. But we'll give George just a second to talk a little bit about his brand, what it's about, and maybe just about how he got started. All right, how's it going, guys? So I like to fish. I've been fishing for a long time, almost my whole life. Uh, since I was a kid and obviously tackle gets expensive so eventually uh, me and my buddies got together and we're like hey how about we just make our own jig heads you know so uh, we started playing around with different molds and figuring stuff out and we figured out that we liked something different compared to all the saltwater baits and the saltwater jig heads so we're like hey man let's try something different so came out with this as you can see right there it's a jig head so it has an offset where it comes down if you can see that it comes down so the reason behind that, people fish with croaker, mullet, live shrimp, and all these kind of stuff, right? So what they use, they use kale hooks, uh, croaker hooks, uh, circle hooks, and when they hook up to the fish, it usually stays on. They don't have no problem losing fish. I mean, obviously some of them do, but it's not occasional, you know? So that's the reason why we did that. So when you set the hook on the fish, it comes up, comes down, and it digs more meat into the bone and to the mouth of those fish. So. And we actually got some cool paint jobs. I do this all by myself, all by hand. So as you can see, it's one flow line right there. So you can match each lure that you throw. So these are only for the show. Obviously we have our pearls, chartreuse, and all the, the nice stuff, but uh, definitely come check us out. Uh, Salty, we'll have a website up within a few months, uh, but if not, make sure to hit us up on Facebook and Instagram. We have our page, Salty Head. So hit us up. Phillips guys he is the creator of this brand 3JD Lures a lot of you guys have probably heard of him he's making a name for himself out here with some really good products we'll take a shot of all these in just a second but we'll give him a second to kind of talk a little bit about the brand first well for the people that know that don't know what 3JD stands for it stands for uh, Jim Jack which is me my son Julian my daughter Jaden and uh, my wife Dolly so that's where 3JD came from um, we specialize in soft plastics, uh, that's what we do. We do have some jig heads on, on the side that complement our baits, just uh, like Salty Head does too. I have the inverted paddle tail. That one was my creation. Uh, it was 
just something that came out of the blue. I've always wanted something with an inverted tail. I haven't seen it, so I went for it. And uh, it's been a good a good success, and everybody has a everybody has a positive experience with it, and they're able to catch fish and make memories. And then I have the 3.5 Chad. Uh, I do a lot of colors and stuff like that, and I think they complement the bait. Other than that, we just try to make the best off plastic out there and try to make memories. So we are done with this fishing expo. There's a lot of really cool brands in there. Uh, hopefully I got enough footage for you guys to get an idea of what exactly it is that goes on here. The turnout was actually a lot more than I actually previously expected. This is actually the first year that they're doing this event. It was a really good show. It was 10 bucks to get in, so it wasn't bad at all, considering some of the other fishing shows are a lot more expensive. So hope you guys saw something cool. Let me know in the comments what you thought was the most interesting. We'll see you guys on the next episode.